Okay, so I'm Greg Sims, I'm from Bundaw Rural Services, which is just outside of Canberra. And we've just completed a, um, a effluent irrigation job at one of our local council tips uh, using uh, this particular sprinkler here, the uh, impact sprinkler from Triangle Filtration. And uh, we're just uh, showing Gary some photographs of the completed job and uh, telling him what a fantastic um, uh, system it's turned out to be. It's very reliable, uh, it's simple, and uh, it's a, a great result for our customers, so we're, we're delighted with it. I'm Gary Horton from Triangle Water Clip, based in Melbourne. We distribute a part of our product range as a full range of impact sprinklers. Uh, one of the primary issues Greg had to dispose of at the tip site was the leachate which is a very toxic material um, and in this application they are able to use a, uh, a sprinkler to uh, evaporate and get rid of the waste water. Um, the sprinkler is a, uh, a one inch sprinkler, what were your spacings Greg at the tip side? Well we actually had it at 40 metres spacings because we didn't want to have any overlap between the sprinklers. So they're typically about a 20 metre radius, is that right? right? Yes. And uh, so we, we didn't, we wanted the individual sprinklers not to overlap so we didn't get flooding in particular areas. So uh, it's not a traditional irrigation system as such. And the operating pressure? Operating pressure on those, we had them at about 450 kPa. Right, okay. About 600 kPa, depending on how many sprinklers we okay. um, The whole idea is to get rid of the, it's not an irrigation system for her say, for uniformity, it's a system to, to get rid of and dispose of waste water, which is the primary objective of the application. And what size laterals? Uh, 50 mil laterals on those. Yeah. So we had 80 mil mains and 50 mil laterals. And each sprinkler was controlled by a ball valve so that the, uh, the council had the opportunity to turn off particular areas if they became too wet. And they were still loading up uh, subsoil onto the site to cap off the waste. So uh, they had to have it above ground, the ability to move the sprinklers easily. These particular sprinklers uh, were, were matched to the duty that we had. Um, they were very robust, very reliable, very simple sort of sprinkler. Uh, which was really important for the council guys. Um, and we just looked at the, uh, the performance charts for this sprinkler against the pumping system that we had, and we found a perfect match. So we're very happy with that. The design was well done. Uh, it met all the applications and the specifications. And like all the other Erie Gear members, uh, we found it to be a very thorough and professional installation. Um, and it turned out to be very successful, not only for the distributor, Greg, and his company, but also for the local council and the environment. Greg, thanks for your time. It's been a pleasure to catch up again at the conference. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, thanks, we'll see you again next year. Oh, well, I come to this conference every year. It's uh, the must-do conference on the calendar.